Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and today I'm going to share with you a grocery store haul and tell you a few things, some funny stuff. Um, the first thing that I have, and I'm going to scoot up here, is my Excedrin. And I have a question about this because y'all saw that a, po a post that I made. I need to know, because some of you live near my state in Ohio and Illinois, some of you live in bigger cities, are y'all having a problem with Excedrin where you live at is what I want to know. Because the last couple of weeks here, it wasn't in my grocery store. I didn't think anything of it. But two weeks later, and then two weeks after that, I go back. It's not there at all. I go to Walgreens, where I bought my Excedrin from that I last hauled on here. The 100, I think, count bottle. All they had left today was two of these, and they were $18. So they hiked them up a little bit. Because usually, I find these for like $16 or $15.99. I haven't been to our Target yet, I haven't been to Walmart, but if there's a problem, I know they're going to be wiped out because a lot of the people that hold charge cards at these stores will go ahead and purchase their favorite products. I know that when we had the Excedrin gone here before, Benadryl and everything else that this company made with it was gone, and I'm trying to see if I even know what the company is that makes this. It's usually on the box somewhere. And I don't see it now just glancing at this, but if you guys know, I would say, if there's a problem with it in your area, would you please let me know? And all this says is distributed by GSK Consumer Healthcare. So I don't even know if this brand's owner has changed hands over the years. This is trademark 2015. And this bottle expires March of 22. But I do know that in my area, the grocery store still has the 24 size of this one, the migraine, the tension, which were some that I couldn't find, and the PM. So I have some financial things that I have to do today. If I don't get them done today, I have to do it Monday. But Monday and after, I plan on going up to that store and getting at least two of each one because I cannot be without my Excedrin. I like it a lot. And usually... Um, when I don't have it, I have problems. So I've been on this for almost three minutes. So I'm going to get off this and show you my haul. I did make my way to Sonic and I got my little toaster burger. Guys, I was starving. This burger is cold by now. But I love their toaster burger and I get it without cheese. I do not dislike cheese. I just kind of get it without cheese. But sometimes, guys, I get this burger and I am starving and I take it how it comes. It's a delicious burger. They make a toaster chicken sandwich too. So I'm going to show you what I got from the grocery store. Spoiler alert. They didn't have no Pringles. I was looking. I'm mad. I'm going to tweet the company and I'm going to Instagram them and everything else. Also, I want to say I need to find me a common sense coach. Y'all know one. Send them my way. Why do I need a common sense coach? I need one to go with me to the grocery store. So that when I enter said grocery store, I actually come out with actual groceries. You'll find out what I mean when you see what I've gotten here. So the first thing I got was Imperial. I am very happy that Imperial still exists. I grew up with Blue Bonnet, Imperial, and Parquet. The Parquet today was $1.99. These were a dollar, and the Blue Bonnet only came. I bought all three, but when I bake, I'm kind of partial to this one right here. I really do love Imperial, but I buy all three. I just have bought the Imperial more. I got some smoked sausage because I was in the store and I was hungry. And I don't know what happened here because this was more tightly packed. I don't know if it came open somewhere because it feels like there's air in it. It didn't have air in it before. So I did just hit something on the floor, but I know that it's okay because when I bought it, you know how smoked sausage are tightly together in the package so I don't know what just happened here but nothing's leaking or anything like that but I got smoked sausage because I've been getting a lot of the maple sausage and all of that and a lot of bacon and I haven't been buying smoked sausage I went ahead and got this why do y'all see what I did in the way of coffee I wanted some coffee and some creamer right <laughs> I do like this a lot I like this when I just want to put something really quick together and I don't want to dibble and dabble in my coffee and then they had these little things right here that I can use for lunch I've never had these before I don't think I've ever hauled them on here before but I figured I'd try them this is the bird's eye chicken alfredo bowl and these were 
I think $3.99 or $2.99. It says pasta made from lentil flour and zucchini. That sounds healthy. We all know I'm not healthy. I just bought it because it looked good, and of course I was hungry. This is another one, Boston Market. I wanted to try their sweet and sour chicken. What should I have bought, guys? A roast, some chicken fillets, maybe some pork chops, some fish, some broccoli, some fruits, some vegetables. And I got my coffee creamer. Now, I am on the hunt down for all of the specialty coffee creamers you guys are showing. But today I just wanted my plain old vanilla. And when I don't settle on this, I settle on the Italian cream when I just want plain cream in my coffee. And I really do like these, but I will say this. I buy a ton of creamer and eventually some of it goes bad. So that last time that I hauled all that creamer, some of those I got to use, but some of them I didn't get to use all the way because they got lost. Now they did have the Snickers and the Dove, the ones I've had before. They have a lot of pumpkin spice considering it's almost February. And what other Christmas ones? They have mocha peppermint, but they did not mark them down. I really do love the um, Starbucks white chocolate one so that'll be in my repertoire as far as my cream creamers i just want plain creamer it will be the italian cream this one and now that white chocolate one if it sticks around so we're going to show you what else i got generally when i go and get my toaster burger i either get a vanilla coke or their cherry limeade drink whatever but because i knew i was going to the grocery store i went ahead and bought a store brand pure sparkling water now i wanted a case of the lacroix or the carrier i was just carrying too much stuff and i didn't want to carry that so i did get that i got two of those and then i got sprite because again like i said y'all know usually i would have a two liter of cherry coke but I didn't feel like carrying all that today. And I'm going back out today if my um, Bath and Body Works mail order comes and it comes in time, I will be going back out today. Otherwise, I'll be going back out Monday. So I got the little one liter of Sprite. Oftentimes, they put these on sale for a dollar, dollar and a quarter. These are really nice to have, except for I drink so much soda, this one don't do me at all. If I start drinking it in the morning, it's gone by the middle of the day. And because I could not get my hands on my Pringles, like I said, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get my hands on Pringles like a whole box load. I went ahead and got the Grippos regular potato chips. I really do like these. These are made in Cincinnati, Ohio. For some reason, I grew up thinking that they were from around here. They were not made where I live at, but they were the local chip back when I was a kid. And you could buy a tiny bag for 21 cents. I wanted more of the cranberry um, English muffins that I showed on here. Today my choice was cinnamon raisin or blueberry. I didn't really want that. I went ahead and got the plain ones again because they didn't have the cranberry ones. And these were buy one, get one. So basically all I want is one because bread is something else that I won't go through. Now you could see that I could probably make bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches with these, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches with these. I didn't buy any eggs. I don't need all of these, so I might take these to work tomorrow. Um, one of the side of the units has a toaster where they can make things, so I might see if they need these over there and just give them one because I really would allow one to go bad if I kept them both. We'll see. I just don't feel like I eat them that much. I basically make the little breakfast sandwiches when I'm home for work. And then I wanted coffee. I was supposed to have gotten a package of Keurig coffee. I did get some more of these. They weren't on the sale that they were. They were back to $3.99, but I really do like this one. And I do want to try their other ones. They have like breakfast sandwiches um, and other little products that I do want to try. So, I was supposed to be getting regular coffee. They're changing the Folgers. Like this says Keurig and these, for some reason, were like $5.99 and $4.99, but they have other Folgers that's in different packaging that also says Keurig. And I have found that I like the plastic cups. I don't like the ones with the pods like the one that I had. But I got these Seattle's Best because it was on sale for $4.99, and I just want to know what it tasted like, right? Like, I really know. Some coffee I can decipher, some I can't. But I figured it couldn't hurt anything. So I'm going to try this one. And then, 
they had this one i love the caramel one i get it a lot so this time i decided to get the vanilla biscotti but what i wanted was the one called morning cup i really like the nuttiness of that and the lightness of that so that one is one that i can actually decide for a difference because for me coffee is either weak or strong and when i make it it's horrible because i can't make coffee but nobody's drinking it but me i told you the story before about how i had this one cup and one spoon that i made perfect coffee with and when the cup broke and i lost the spoon it was the end of it the curry coffee to this that was expensive is now on sale for $5.99. I did not know they had instant. Now, my favorite instant brand is actually Maxwell House. Like, if I'm going to get an instant coffee, that's the one that I go for. What do I do with instant coffee? Besides drinking it, which I don't really drink it all the time, this is like my emergency stock. When, Because I will go through my Keurig coffees, but I will go through my ground coffees first. But like in the wintertime, it's cold outside. You don't really want anything. You want something hot. I will use it for that. But I also have a recipe for coffee pudding even when i was a kid growing up i didn't like coffee i grew up drinking tea i loved coffee ice cream i loved coffee candy i loved the coffee pudding when i found the recipe i found the recipe when i was about 24 25 and then i actually like whatever coffee yogurt i can find that oikos or Greekos or whoever they are makes but i figured i'd try this and i might try that coffee recipe with this but it calls for a packet of dream whip it's a really good recipe if you're someone that just likes making your own little snack and, and i know that the base of that coffee pudding has to do with a package of dream whip and the instant vanilla pudding but it's really delicious my friends that kind of sneered about it actually liked it and I liked it because I'll try desserts. But I think that was all that I got. So like I said, I'm waiting on something from Bath and Body Works. I really want to smell the peach sugar cone. And then I'm going out there. And I'm going out there because I want some more of them rainbow puffs. I've been afraid to call to ask if they have any in case they don't. But if they do, I'm going to pick up two more today or Monday. So that was it. Until the next time, everyone have a great day. And I ain't joking about the common sense coach that needs to go to the grocery store with me so I can actually buy some food. I should be showing you some salmon, some steaks, some chick, just something substantial and not no frozen food over there. But until the next time, everyone have a great day.